just to build extend the idea like a is directly proportional to b or a is directly uh, a is directly re linearly re related with b little bit more what little bit more now we are very constrained and we are thinking only two variable a and b a and b in practical scenario you just tell me always only two variable will be depends your any of the output or any of the performance will depend on only one factor no practically it is it will not there but mathematically to solve the solve the question or to frame the question at lower level at this level aptitude level we are because we are not dealing very practical scenario then we are just taking the one variable like any of the output is depending on only one factor and that factor we are just uh, uh, making the mathematical relation and we are solving but practically any output will not depends on only one input it will depends on multiple input then here just we'll extend the idea like one input and one output we have seen whatever we have seen is directly proportional to b to the power n or linearly a is directly proportional to b but just suppose if it is two input means two variable is there input b and input c and you are getting output a now variety of situation can be arise here generally situation will be there that will be mixed kind of thing like a is directly proportional to b or b to the power n or a is directly proportional to c or c to the power n or mix of that a is directly proportional to b c or b to the power n c to the power n b c to the power n or b n to the power c variety of situation can be a equal to k b c k b c don't think kon banega karodpati it is a just a variable name k is here constant of proportionality generally in if whatever we are writing any of the proportional proportionality k is called constant of proportionality constant of direct proportionality if it is directly proportional then it will called constant of direct proportionality then a equal to k b c k is your direct proportionality constant of direct proportionality b and c two variable are there a is directly proportional to b and a is directly proportional to c if you are just combining a will be directly proportional to b and c then variety of your scope is there and the variety of question and you can just think little bit more if these two a and b are also a and b are directly proportional but a and c are not directly proportional they may be inversely proportional that you can say it is a mixed kind of thing. that also we'll see in this session when uh, in any one scenario if direct proportional and inverse proportional both will be mixed then uh, just will uh, same thing whatever we have gone through will try to understand again based on the lti learn through images just will look here directly proportional what is here y equal to kx if it is exactly not coming kx then we can say it is a linearly related not directly proportional it is going through the origin inversely proportional just will go through afterwards it is a y equal to k by x it will be like this now direct proportion y equal to kx means always it will pass through origin we have to be careful just we'll look one example that will give you clarity of thought is an equation as direct variation 5x plus 2y equal to 0 minus 5 is like this you are getting y equal to minus 5 by 2 into x direct variation minus 5 by 2 is the constant of variation it is direct variation now 5x plus 2y equal to 9 we know it is a linear equation into variable it is a direct variation no why it is not direct variation because it is not coming in the form of it is not coming in the form of a equal to kb that is the reason it is coming in the form of a equal to kb plus k1 due to it is not direct variation it is linear variation but not direct variation be careful this terminology maybe they will not check but be careful here now just suppose if different different type of variation you are combining all are going through origin means we can say all are directly proportional with different slope here it is a different slope different slope or different k value like k equal to half then graph will be like this k equal to 2 then this line will go like this k equal to 6 means once we are keep on increasing the k it will just move from x axis to towards y axis now direct proportional graph 2 is therefore an example of a direct proportional while graph 1 and 3 are simply linear relationship now it is very clear why it is direct proportional because it is going through origin if it is going through origin then we can say it is a directly proportional these all are the linear relation because it is not going through origin very simple now another one more example this graph again going through origin then we can say age 
directly proportional to b this is not going through origin then we can say a is linearly increasing with b or a is linearly related with b 